think of data input for the patient. Basically, it's filling in forms. Okay. Forms are made up of sections. You know, if I do a health history form, I may be looking for past history, past surgeries, allergies, okay. medications, and those are all sections. And we divide those up into tables. So as you build the sections, as you build the fields, you're building the tables of data that you're collecting on that patient. Then you can take those sections and put them to any kind of form you want. And after you can build your own form flow the way you want to do it, you can reuse that section in any other form. So I might have an initial visit which has a whole bunch of different sections in it. But my follow-up visit, I'm not going to have all the same stuff. I just need a couple of those sections for my next visit. You're not going to have this intensive history and all that. I'm going to do, well, how are you feeling today? What's your complaint? Okay, what's your blood pressure, your vitals? How things been going since? Yeah, things been going, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I'm not going to go back through their whole family history because I've already got that. Right. So I don't need that. So what you do is you build your sections. Right. And we're going to just kind of look at some of the sections Which that are made here. And each of these sections builds a table. Okay, that's what you see down here. This is the actual table of data. Okay, and so I build my fields from the my uh, form section. So here's the types of fields that I can build. Now, we're going to add calculated fields. We're going to add some other fields. It's kind of like having FileMaker built into your program and you're building your own tables and then you're building your own layouts. So I'm going to come back over here. And if we just kind of go through here and look at a couple of these sections, you can see they can be very complex, lots of notes. You can have graphics on them where you can draw on them. Okay. You can send, you can put images into fields that we call container fields. So it'd be like, you know, I take a graphic, I get a picture. And when you actually do this, you'll go out and look at the attachments, and that'll become an area that you can drag images into areas that you want to work on. So as I go through this, I build my own. Um, and I guess I'm going to put a graphic in it so I can draw it. You know, point to the problem areas, whatever I need. So once I've done that, once I've built my sections, then I, then I actually build forms. So in the case of this guy here, an optometrist, he might have a, a form that he's doing where you see he's dotted lines representing where each section is put in. Now in this case, he's used the same section multiple times. Probably because he wants to go back to the same form every time they come in. Or each, each thing that he's doing will lens one, lens two, lens three, however he wants to do it. So if I go down to, let's say, internal medicine. Yeah, allergy sensitivity. Well, there may be only one thing. That's that's a whole thing that he wanted was just that. Okay, and that may be a form for him. Now, if he goes to current medications, he may have a list of current medications that he wants to put in, or evaluation and management form. So he's going to go in. Now you can see over here on the left, on the right, this is the actual form. All of the sections that have been put in. And these are drawing areas where he can he can work on. So this is a very extensive, you know, I'm going to get every piece of information I can possibly get on this guy when I'm doing this evaluation and management. So my form can be as long, as extensive, or as short as I want. It can be one section, it can be a whole series of sections all put together. When you do that, this form, when I create it, it actually creates a record of all the fields from all the sections for that form. But each area, each section, is a separate record back in the sections. Okay, so each table is unique, and each record for that section is unique. Okay. So now I can export it, I can grab that information, dump it out to something else, or I can query it from MySQL or whatever I want to do. So we're going to actually extend this so that what happens is, um, let's say that I'm, I'm doing uh, which one? This one. Okay, and I go through this section. We're going to have a, uh, we don't have this yet, it's coming, but we're going to have a palette that has a unique text list, or what we'll call pick list, for each section. So as I go into that section, I might only have one or two, I may not have any, or I may have a whole list of things that I want to choose from that will populate any text fields that I have. And they're individual to the doctor or the, the user, so that when you sign in, it looks back and goes, 
down. Oh, this is Dr. So and so, and this is this section. These are his lips. Okay, because it doesn't do me any good to say everybody has to use the same thing because Dr. X is going to say to Dr. Y, you're a nutcase. You need to put it in like this. He's going, no, you're the nutcase. You need to put it in like this. You know, you know what? Yeah, we, yeah. Okay, no one likes to do it exactly the same way, no matter what you say. I don't care how. They have general forums and then they have what you call, we have called what's uh, a smart list, which you can create yourself. Right. First, then we'll put it in. But some of the other lists are kind of limiting because sometimes it's not exactly what you want to say yet. So you have right. to pick something. Right. Like so, the Now you can put your own, you know, and you'll be able to do that for every section of the, the form. Cool. Okay. So you'll be able to build those. We'll, and we're not there yet with a couple things we want to do, but uh, some of the things that's going to happen, like here, they did, you know, an immunization record. Um, they deal with that a lot with the pediatrics. Yeah. So in the pediatric practice, this might be a perfect form for them. But if they fill this in, you'll notice this is one record. It's not multiple. There's a section here, but this is a complete record. So when they do this one, it's going to fill out all the information, and that's a whole series of fields that they've created in a form somewhere. Uh, if these are actually individual sections, I can click on it and highlight the section. You'll notice there's a border around it from here to here, and that's that. That's one section that was inserted into this form. Okay. So if I wanted to go back and find that section, it would be nice if they would give me a name, but we haven't done that yet. So I don't think this actually corresponds to it, but like over here in the form sections, if I go down, I might get really lucky here. I'll find a form that's it's already been pre-made. There it is. Okay, so the form has been made. This is the section. So like here, you might have just an image section that has different images that I want to draw. Or in there. Now this one this image was where I would actually drop an image into. So when I add that, then I'm going to have a record, the patient name, and the date it was done. But I'm going to have the image stored for each patient for each record. So I might take an image. You know, first time you come in, and then you come back. I take another image. Take another. Like a dermatologist might do that for skin cancer or something else he's treating. Or you know, a plastic surgeon might want to take a picture before and after. Here's what we did, here's what you know, the final result was, and so on. Will it also store like ultrasound images, x-rays? Uh, we haven't done that. What we do is we use our attachments for that. Okay. And in attachments, what you do is you have the ability to grab anything this person might have. Um, you know, separate images that I want, I want to have of that person. It can be different x-rays, it can be ultrasounds, whatever. Now, if it's a DICOM image or an ultrasound or something like that, then you're going to store essentially a reference to an external file. Then when you double click on it, it's going to go out and say, well, that is a DICOM image. Please go open a Cyrix. Okay. And so a Cyrix opens it up for reading. We don't want to store that data. Right, right. Okay. We want to manage the data. Yeah. All right. That, that's cool. So it would be in a separate file, whatever. It's a separate file. You have to do is access it and then it brings it all up. Okay. So there's different ways to handle that kind of stuff. Um, attachments here can be any document. It can be, a, you know, like a PDF. It can be a Word file. It can be an Excel file, DICOM file. Anything you want can be attached here. When you double click it, it'll open it up in its native format. Okay. Okay. So that was kind of the idea. That, now, when you're in the EMR, because he has these images, if I actually go into, um, let's create one now. Let's just, I've been showing you kind of the back end, what's actually here, all these form sections. So now let's go to um, evaluation and management here. And I'm going to create this for this patient. Okay. And so now it's going to create a new note down here. Notice the images from his attachments are here. Any other attachments would be there. So I could grab that and insert that into an image drop box if I wanted to. So I can record the image with the actual data if I need to. The visit. Okay. Okay. So there's a lot of different ways that we're going about this. It's not a complete product. It's not finalized yet. 
right. we got a lot of things to add. We're going to be adding sure scripts, so it'll be integrated in it. We're going to be adding labs and the creation of lab requisitions, so we can capture the data back from the labs. Right. Most systems can do the lab data coming back, but they can't generate the lab requisition. The lab requisitions. Okay. Now, send them and get the the test. Yeah. Here's the test I want. They do it, you know, and then they send me back the data. You know. I have to okay. I, I hear you. So that's another thing. Um, we'll be adding, um, like I said, the. Um, what about something simple, just putting demographics, you know, phone numbers, addresses. Well, see, when you create a form, that's just an alert. Uh, you're going to be that's doing that from. Uh, let's do it this way. These fields here can be pulled from a patient's record. Okay. So when you merge that in, what it'll do is it'll allow me to go to the person or to the patient, and I want to grab the last name and drag it in there. So then it'll automatically populate that from their record. So when I'm in that patient and I go to create the form, I don't want to type that stuff in. It's going to put it in. So the demographic and information like that is put in under the patient's ability when you're first setting up a patient. Right. But I don't want to have to do a form where I'm going to have to input that in every time. Every time. Right, right. That's, I can make it happen. That's right. But it's up to them. So that's our, our goal is to actually make this kind of like your system, not my system. Right. Not the way I think you ought to do it. Right. But the way you think you ought to do it. Right, right. And all the other systems that actually provide some functionality in that, that area are still pretty fixed. Yeah. You're going to operate the way they want yeah, you to I'm, operate. I'm dealing with a system like that now. So. They're all like that. Yeah. <laughs> Which, you know, and, and the other weird thing about what we, we deal with, you can only bring up, you can only bring up one screen at a time. Oh, okay. I can only bring up a schedule. If I want to go to a you know telephone encounter, I need to make a note. I have to go out of schedule, go into that. Oh, if I want to do a chart, I have to go into another screen. I can't. I can't have more than one uh, session up at a time. Okay. Yeah, that's another. Well, I can have as many windows open as I want.